Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. As you can tell by today's title, I'm gonna be trying to fix what I feel like is limpy curls, and that's due to a moisture protein imbalance. I am not a scientist. This is a very scientific thing, I feel like. But just by knowing my hair, I can tell that my hair is going through a little bit of a moisture overload, which makes complete sense because I did two deep conditioning mask things two weeks in a row, which was very unnecessary the first week. I definitely needed did it because I felt like my hair has been super dry and I haven't done one in a long time but then I did another one the following week just because I wanted to try something new like try a new mask and I didn't need it and so the last wash day that I did it looked good and it lasted for like a day a day and a half maybe even on the second day I had to do a pretty good refresh but I did notice that my hair really wasn't holding the curl it wasn't holding any sort of volume and it just feels like really soft and kind of gummy so that's how I know I need some protein if I sound like I'm out of breath it's because I just came back from the gym and I'm trying to film this quick so I can get in the shower so yesterday I just picked up this protein mask from the brand Argan Magic but I just got it at Marshall's it was $7.99 and this says it is a protein rich hair conditioning mask helps restore body and elasticity while adding shine which is what I need in my experience there's at least three ways that I can tell my hair is going through a moisture overload and that's because it starts to feel super gummy and soft and that has to do with your elasticity and not having enough protein in your hair so my hair starts to lose a lot of volume and it's not able to hold volume and then also my curl pattern and just my hair in general doesn't last as long usually I can wash my hair and have decent hair up until day three and maybe even push it to five but when my hair is not balanced I can barely make it to a good day two also I've personally never dealt with protein overload but it's the opposite of moisture so instead of your hair feeling soft and gummy it's probably gonna feel like hard and brittle but like I said I'm not a scientist and there's way more information and way more background that you could learn about moisture and protein imbalance and some channels that I like to learn from are Mains by Mel because she breaks down everything in a very entertaining way but also has facts and science behind it and another channel that's super helpful is the curly chemistry I'll link them both down below if you guys want to learn more but I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower and I don't know if I'm gonna do shower scenes because honestly that's a hassle to put the tripod in the bathroom but I'm gonna see what this smells like I've never used this before hmm I don't know what that smells like and it's just like a white conditioner. It's pretty thick. Yeah, it's like super thick. So let's see how this works. And actually before I get in the shower, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-poo using my liquid purifying shampoo. This is from Aromas and I've used it in another video before. I really like it. I'll also most likely use their shampoo as well. So I'm just gonna put this in my hair and do a quick little scalp massage. This would make a really good ASMR video. I think you guys should be able to hear it, but it's super bubbly. I'm just gonna let this sit on my head for a little bit and then I'll jump in the shower. fresh out the shower we're gonna go ahead and style and let's see if that mask actually helped me out I'm also going to be using the neroli hair primer from the innate life this is made to balance and restore your hair and it says it's supposed to bring your hair back to its optimal pH level so that'll kind of just help balance my hair overall so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair I'm just gonna spray this all over it also has apple cider vinegar in it so it feels very refreshing 
especially on your scalp. I'm just gonna use my mini tangle buster to make sure I spread that all throughout my hair and also detangle a little bit more. So when I was in the shower, I applied the mask and I let it sit on my hair while I washed my body. And then I um, just rinsed it out and detangled in the shower as well. So my hair is not really tangly right now. And then for my styling products, I'm gonna be using the DN Organics Leave-In Cream and their styling gel. Since I'm not going to be using a brush to style today, I'm going to go ahead and apply the styling gel right after I apply the leave-in cream in each section. And to finish off my hair, I'm going to use some of this volumizing foam from Cake. I haven't used this in a long time, but it used to be one of my favorites. I'm almost out of it. Okay, and now we wait. It's all styled. I'm just going to let it air dry like I normally do, and then I'll come back and diffuse when it's like 60 or 70% dry. I'm back and I'm going to start diffusing my hair, but I am going to be putting in my heat protectant before I diffuse. This is the Rapid Blow Dry from Giovanni. I also got this from Marshall. Oh no, I got this one from TJ Maxx. But I'm going to spray this all over. So here are my curls completely dry without any fluffing and I feel like it looks better already. Even my curl pattern looks way nicer. My curls are looking nice and tight and nice and spirally so I'm liking the way this is looking so far. But I'm going to go ahead and put some hair oil on my hands. This is the Miel Rosemary Mint one and I'm going to fluff out my curls a little bit. And these are pretty much my final results. I actually think it looks so much better and I can tell that my curl pattern is definitely tighter. Like it doesn't look as loose as it was before. Also, it's not like I had a severe case of this moisture overload. I definitely think it's more of a problem if your hair is color treated or if you have really damaged hair. In my case, it was literally just because of the products that I was using. So I was just trying to correct that and I didn't need a lot of correcting to fix the problem. So for me, this mask worked really good. And I'm 
I'm happy with my results. Here are what my curls are looking like up close. I definitely think my curls, like the pattern of the curl itself, is much tighter and it looks way nicer. But I think the real test is going to be what my hair looks like on day two or day three. So I'm going to try and come back and give you guys a day two or day three update. But if not, I'll just update you guys in the comment section below. I'll pin the comment and let you guys know what I think about my hair on day two or day three. So definitely check that out. I've also been seeing people use just these little protein drops that you can add into products you already have. Instead of going out and buying like a protein mask or a protein treatment or whatever, you can just add the liquid protein into products you already have, like leave-in conditioner or even like your styling products. I feel like that would be very helpful. I haven't used them yet, but I'll link them down below if you're interested. If you've never heard of them, you should check them out. So yeah, this was a really, really good wash day, and I love that I didn't even have to use my styling brush, and I got some really good definition. Like my curls look really good. It's day two. I slept with my hair in this bonnet and we're gonna see what it looks like. I did put it in a pineapple, so I have it in like a silky scrunchie and I have not looked at it, I have not touched it. And I wanted to do this before I did anything for the day because it is raining and it's super humid today. So I know my hair is not gonna look as good if I was to do this on day three or at the end of the day today. So this is day two hair with absolutely no refresh, straight out the bonnet. And I think it's looking pretty good. I still feel like my curls look really cute. I do have some frizz and yesterday I just stayed in my house pretty much for the rest of the day. I was laying down a little bit on my couch without my bonnet before I went to bed, but this is what day two curls are looking like and they look really good. I just need a good shake and a little bit of product to help with some of the frizz. And then I'm gonna use some of my Pantene hydrating cream to refresh some of my curls. I definitely think this is a better result than the last wash day that I did and it 100% has to do with the protein mask that I did like I really needed that I'm using the tiniest bit of this cream just in places that I feel like are really frizzy mostly at the crown of my head And these are my day two results. I love the way that my hair looks. It literally looks so much better than it did before. And I'm just happy with my results. I'm sad that it's actually rainy and humid outside because honestly, it's not gonna last that long. So yeah, this is a little day two update for you guys. I hope this video was helpful. If you're curious about moisture, protein balance, if you're dealing with an imbalance of some sort, I hope this was helpful in some way. If not, definitely check out the channels that I mentioned previously. They're super helpful. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you get a thumbs up before you go. Also, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!